Okay, so we're jumping right in on the tree today. So we're going to put this tree together, and I already cut out the pieces, so we're just going to start with the bottom of the tree and the trim that goes with it. And those go there, and then we'll applique and stuff them. So those are stuffed very lightly, and now we're going to cut the tree out. The tree was a little tedious to cut out, so make sure you take your time and cut it out. I added the beads and sequins first because that's what it calls for, and I'm stuffing it first. And I just left, I, I like to go um, like in a triangle, and then um, I stuff it from the bottom. It's just a little easier for me. So I'm just showing you how I am appliquing this tree. And I always use one strand for applique. And then once the tree is attached, we'll add the embellishments on top. So now we're gonna go back and add the garland here. And the garland is consistent of beads. And I just take uh, about four or five and Sorry, I'm out of the frame. I'm just trying to get them in there. So I'll take, I'll go back and then go through a couple at the end. And I just do this over and over again. Make sure you take your time and you go along the, the um, stamp. And um, make sure you're not yanking on the previous beads. I've done that on accident. I'll go pull too hard. Just be careful. I'm going to skip ahead here and start working on the candy canes. And these candy canes took me quite a while to do because of the, all the satin stitch. Every single one has satin stitch. So that took a lot of time <laughs> to do them. So with this small satin stitch, I am using this method. Just kind of taking it little by little find it easier to do it this way. And, and the uh, stitches tend to be rather consistent when I spread them out beforehand and then fill the little gaps. As long as I go along the the stamp, it should be okay. So I'm going to do this for every single candy cane. And there's five of them. Even sped up, it took me forever. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of doing candy canes this way. I prefer cutting felt out and appliquing red felt. But that's just me. These little um these little stripes aren't so bad. It just takes forever. As you can see, it takes forever. <laughs> so I am going to finish the rest off camera and show you what they look like completely finished. Okay, now that we have all the candy canes finished, we are going to applique them onto the tree. And I use a pin so that they don't move around so much. I'm just gonna go in through the back just because it's so thin, it doesn't really matter. Plus, I'm not really going in through any stuffing right there, so. I'm just making sure that the candy cane doesn't move around too much. And I like to place my stitches as close to the edge as I can and as close to the satin stitch as I can without ruining it since I'm using white. I 
I'm just going to do these for the rest. Okay, here's what the candy canes look like. And I have to say, these are the most tedious candy canes <laughs> in the whole kit. So, adding the little tiny candies, the round candies. And they're not stuffed, by the way. Now we're going to have the, the cupcakes, and then we'll add the star. So I'm just going to go in and do the little embroidery here. I'm just going to show you real quick. These pieces are tiny. I'm just doing a straight stitch for the cupcake bottoms. Well, do you know what? When they're done, they're super cute. So I can't be too mad at it for being so tiny. I mean, you can tell. Like, it's not even... It's smaller than my thumb. And I've got big hands. <laughs> so... I should tell you something. Once we have those done, then we'll do the tops and then put them all together. Okay, so we're going to do the bottoms here and then we're going to add the tops. So I'm just going to do the embroidery real quick for the top of the cupcake. And we'll do more cupcakes later on, and we'll do more candies, and there's a lot of little elements <laughs> that uh, go on this stocking, so I wouldn't consider it to be a beginner stocking. It's definitely more of an intermediate expert, especially with all of the elements going on. I have made this kit in the past, a long time ago, um, when I started making kits. And uh, I remember thinking back then that it was overwhelming. <laughs> so coming back after making so many more since then, um, there are still parts of the stocking I'm just like, dang, this is so tedious. Um, but they're all like small elements, like the candy cane and all the tiny little pieces of like candy. And then the fairy's hair I thought was probably the most tedious. Um, I think I ended up like googling a video on how to do her hair because the instructions were kind of vague sort of like trying to attach braided hair to a stocking was not easy to understand anyway but I will show you how I do it so hopefully there won't be that much confusion if you ever have any questions just leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you and um, I always re read all my comments. I don't always reply back, but I do read them all. Now we're just going to put this lollipop together with some pipe cleaner. And the lollipops, they take a little finesse <laughs> to put them together. And there's a couple of them, so... Just doing the stick right now. Those little cupcakes turned out so cute. And luckily the um the instructions for the lollipops, like to put them together, is actually rather simple to read, so that's a good thing. I'm just gonna stick this guy over here. It it will stick out a little bit, it's supposed to. Hence why I like using pipe cleaners for stuff like this. That way I know they, they'll bend, but they'll be able to bend back. So I'm just going to tack this down. I like to tack them really well to the bottom as best I can. So I know it's not going anywhere. And I'm using the brown color and not the green. Because the brown is on top. Always match the felt that goes on top. So once this is on there, then we'll do the actual lollipop. We got a couple of gingerbread people to do. More candy canes. And candies. I mean, honestly, it's, it's a very tedious stocking, but 
Man, is it cute when it's done. I was working on this uh, the other day, and Maya's like, oh my gosh, I love this stocking. I'm like, you already have a stocking. <laughs> so, okay, so here I am rolling up the lollipop here, two different colors. Notice I start in the middle and I go outward, and I applique one side. You can see that. So, honestly, it doesn't tell you to applique on one side. This is how I'm doing it. So, before I decided to applique one side, I tried it a couple of times just using the two pieces of felt. And um, I just I couldn't keep both of them together. So, I came up with this method. And uh, after some trial and error, I found that this was the best method for me. So... That's how I'm doing this. And um, it worked out really well. So as you can see, I'm just going to finish appliquing these together. And then once I have the shape that I want, then I'll go back and add some in the back. And I'll show you how I do that. I'm using the pin for now just to keep it in place. To get... Um, this piece on here. And you can trim that off if you want, but I just decided to leave it on. So that's what we have so far. And I'm just gonna tack it down here. Do a couple of passes in the back. I want to, um, you know, I want to connect them. So I think I'm going to connect them on the actual stocking. So I'm just going to position it the way I want. And then I'm just going to go around. And I kind of go at an angle. And it seems to stay. So I haven't had any problems with it. And I do this for every single lollipop. Okay, so there's the lollipop finished. Now we're going to work on the cute little gingerbread. Very similar to the ones up here, except um, one of them has a dress. So we've got a regular gingerbread man, and then we have a gingerbread woman. And then uh, candy canes are fairly simple. These ones are a lot better, I think. So I'm just grabbing some pipe cleaners because that's what I use now. <laughs> I don't stuff my candy canes unless they're a certain um, size. So this is the normal size usually. And I just go to pipe cleaners. So much easier than stuffing them. So I'm just showing you how I place the pipe cleaner in. Fold it over. And um, I sometimes like to fold the ends in because they tend to be pointy sometimes. Sometimes it's it's short enough to I could get away with it. So I'm just going to fold this over and applique the two sides together. And we'll have our candy canes. Okay, first one done. And um, um, like I said before, the gingerbread are very similar to the ones in the previous tutorial. So if you missed that tutorial, I'll link it somewhere, either in the cards above or in the description box somewhere. So you know how to do those gingerbread. Because I, I honestly don't like repeating myself. That's just a personal thing. <laughs> so, And uh, I'm just going to applique this onto here. And we're going to make, I think, one more... Of these candy canes and put it on the stocking and then we're gonna make um, one more lollipop too so I believe that lollipop is a little bit different I think I think this one this lollipop is a little bit easier to put together so and there's also a couple of cupcakes that we'll put on here so it basically looks like scattered sweets everywhere here we have that other lollipop Okay, so it is similar, just a different color. So, all right, so here is the cute little cupcakes that we're putting together. And here's the cherry that goes on top. And I'm just adding um, the backing on them. And they're going to be more of a 3D cupcake. And I just added a couple of 
um, tack down stitches to put those on. And we have, we'll have another one over here. And here's the star cookie. Super simple, super cute. I'm going to add that right there. With some tack down stitches here. And there's, I believe there's a couple of round, like little, little tiny round um, pieces of candy that kind of go, go on here too. So once I get this tacked down, then we can work on the rest of the elements. There's um, one other piece of candy that we had to put together. Here is the other piece of candy I was talking about. So here's a swirl, it's like a, a swirly candy, kind of like a peppermint type of thing. So we're gonna put that together and add it on. And we're gonna stuff the middle like that and applique the middle on there and then um, put the backing on. So here is a little candy and I already added it in there. So here's the, okay, so there's not really a stamp, but um, this is kind of another piece of candy, like one of those, I don't know what they're called, they're like rope candy, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just putting that together, <laughs> which is a little bit tricky. I see four loops here, so I want to try and be true to the pattern. So I'm just adding the applique, or I'm sorry, I'm adding the embroidery first. I'm going to try and get through two, the both layers. It can be a little difficult considering the, the size of it, so um, I sped it up a little bit so you can kind of have an idea of how I did it. So I'm just putting this green stripe in, and then once I'm done with that, then I'm going to attempt to fold it. And let me tell you, um, trying to get four exact folds was a little tricky for me. Hopefully you guys have an easier time. I had to, I had to do it several times to get it to where I wanted it to go. And then uh, once I finally had it, then I could tack it down. So, all right, so we are done with the middle stripe. And now I'm going to attempt to fold these. I'm just doing it by eye, just to kind of gauge how many I can fit in here. Three. I get three. Four. Four-ish. Four and a half-ish, roughly. This was not my first attempt, by the way. <laughs> I did this several times. Because I wanted it to look like the picture, gosh darn it. Anybody else struggling with, with, with this ribbon candy? Because <laughs> I'm trying to like make four exactly and um, failing miserably. Although I'll get as close as I can. And uh, there's five, it's sort of. <laughs> you can see the struggle is real. <laughs> Okay, yeah, just trying to, I mean, that's probably the best I can do, really. <clears throat> so once you have your ribbon candy how you want it, um, tack it down. So that's the best I could do. So tack, I used a pin to kind of keep it in place, and then um, I kind of, I used the picture that it came with to position the ribbon candy. So I'm going to attach the back. Okay, so we have that attached on there as best I can. Not too bad. I mean, it, it does the job. So this is what we have so far. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate every like that I get. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos. I post every Saturday. And uh, this is what we have. So I have one more tutorial left to finish this stocking. So make sure that you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss any new videos. Um, real quick, I wanted to show you these little candies. I totally forgot to show you the candies. So those uh, I added on the very, very last. So we will continue with this stocking uh, next time. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.